now that we are back in Unreal and we've done a lot of work, we have our um, rig from Nixamo and we have Dementia Human on Barica attached to the body. And if I move the body, you can see that the Dementia Human head moves with it. What you see left over is the older claw stuff. Now it's a good time to fix the skin weights on the character and we can do it in Maya. Uh, in a way, you can also break in Unreal and paint weights in Unreal, but because we're dealing with um, animation from Maya or from Blender. Now, I want to show you another trick. I want to show you another way to do it if you don't feel comfortable detaching, re-skinning, and painting all the weights again. So let's jump into Maya, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay, so now that we're in Maya, I want to show you a way to export from Maya to Unreal Engine without the requirements for you to then fix the, the, the paint weights. If you don't feel comfortable doing so, I'll show you another way to do it. And we're going to use similar technique with the advanced skeleton. Now here, I'm going to use um, the shader for the head and face, kind of like what we did before. But then we're going to have to export the cloth separately. If, but before that, we have to deal with the advanced skeleton first. So to do that, let's first change the shader. Let's create a transparent shader, like exactly what we did in video number one. And I'm going to call it transparent. Then what I'll do is I will select her skin, isolate that. Select the faces. Give it the shader. What I'll do next is maybe I'll select the stuff that I don't want. See, which is a hoodie, a belt, and her that cloth. That's all we need to do for now. You don't want to see the hair, so controls last shift. I'm going to select everything and I'm going to make this transparent. Use the same shader. Very nice. So now let's take it out of isolation. So what we have now is we have Hertha and she's got transparent shader on the cloth stuff because we're going to export the cloth separately. Also her head has the same thing. Now what I can do is perhaps delete the eyes and the eye, uh, eyelashes. And now what I'll do is I'll do the same thing we did with the advanced skeleton. So let me open up advanced skeleton. Now let's do name matcher. It will check whatever it needs to check. That I want to do create plate place and fit skeleton it does the magic that it needs to do so pull vector and i will build advanced skeleton to it it's done i'm going to hit transfer skinning now it gives me a notification that it couldn't match a few things from mix some rig to the right and toe but it's okay because we don't need to mess, mess with it because we're going to need to use it as control rig and everything works out at the end so let's do okay and let's close this. And now all we need to do is export this as a DX, but as many. So let's press on the Unreal Mannequin export. And now we can either check Gwyn or many. Let's just do Gwyn. It doesn't matter. They share the same joints and the same control rig. Let's do OK. And now it should open up with a window that tells you, hey, when do you, where do you want to export this pow? So what I'll do is I will make sure that this is the Erica the BX to Brig. So I will I'll make it up. So I'll do an underscore. And then what I'll do is I will save it here of the same name because I want to upload, I want to reload in a real with the same give to on the same name of the FBX. But the room this is a new one. I packed up the old one that we had already uh, X imported into the scene, but I just want this now to be um, the new one. So if I go up and go back into my bows, let's name it again. Let's name it 
It's canal when he exploded it uh, as a new file, and the new file is with everything fixed. So if I open up a new fresh scene in Maya, and I will import that new file that we just exported, don't forget, we did create uh, an underscore on the old file, or you can name it backup. But let's open up the new one that we just created, and it should have press 6. It should have everything we just exported. If I select the joints, move it around, you can see that the paint weight, the skin weights, work really nice. So let's jump back into Unreal. Okay, so here we are back in Unreal. Now what I want to do is I want to re-import the new FBX of her body. If I select her cloths that we had already imported into Unreal Engine, we'll just hide it for now. Now if I go into her mesh, I will go into models and perito body. This is where we imported the skull and mesh. What you need to do is to re-import the new one. Just right click on it and press on read import. And it says, hey, are you sure that something about the material, the arrows it can't find and it can't find the bow? And we say, okay, reset to FPX. And there you go. You saw that something happened. First of all, it added the, the bow and the arrow. We could have got, got rid of it, but it's okay that we have them. We, uh, we had set up the, the face to be uh, trend, uh, clear, detected the shade, clear shader is right here. So everything that has the transparent shader that we had from you know, Maya, now it we don't see it anymore. But this is how you re-import the file. Now, if I unhide it, go into the sequencer, and make sure that I can see that control rig, and just to check that everything works, let me select her body, and you can see that it works perfectly. This bolt is perfectly fine, and the cloth is not hidden right now. That's we can hide it until we do something with it. Select it properly and hide it so you can see that everything moves. Yeah, everything moves, and you can see that the arrow doesn't move at all. But because we set up the meta human with her body, then everything works the way it should work. Now what we can do is do something with the cloth. So let's jump back into Maya just for a second. So for the cloth, all I did was I imported the FPX and I separated the, the cloth objects and I made sure that this is smooth and all I need is now to select both three and I will combine them together. They will come as one object, and then we'll go edit, send it by type, history. Make sure that there's no history on it. But, and now we'll export that as FBX. Go into our models, and I will export us as Erica Cloth FBX. Yes. Overwrite it. Now back in Unreal. So I got rid of the cloth, and I will into the cloth, and I will import this back. Eric for cloth, FBX2 rig, open. Import all. Close this. And now we have Erica's cloth. Just well, if I go into it, and I will scissor it out, it should be sitting correctly on her. And I can see that she is not double-sided, so I will open up the shader. Make sure that it is double sided right here. And I will apply this change and I'll save this. Now, when I close it, you can see that it is double sided. But we have a cloth object. We also have Erica with the new FBX, which works nicely. And we are ready to do animation.